ePostit presents hipfig.com. Welcome to the First Time International Traveler Series, Volume 3 of 6, Airport Departure Process, Departure. We hope you have viewed Volume 1 and 2 of our First Time International Traveler series on baggage information and prohibited items. We encourage you to view all of our volumes in sequence. Meet Mr. Lee, First Time International Traveler. Looks like Mr. Lee is all packed and excited to head towards the airport. However, he seems to have a question. How do I get onto my international flight at the airport? Meet Miss Lily, frequent international traveler. There are three things she recommends before leaving home for the airport. Go through your flight itinerary, read your flight itinerary thoroughly, and understand the flight schedule. For example, at 1 a.m. flight on December 2nd means a flight after midnight on December 1st, which is really early morning on December 2nd. So the passenger should arrive at the airport by 11 p.m. December 1st. Her second recommendation is to check itinerary for connecting flights. Check for transit stop over duration, departure date and time of the connecting flight to your next destination. Departure date and time will be in local time at that transit city. For example, if Mr. Lee is changing and connecting to the next flight in Frankfurt, Germany, then he has to follow local Frankfurt time to catch his next connecting flight when he arrives in Frankfurt. Miss Lily's third recommendation, passport and visa stamp check. Check that the passport and visa are both valid. Many countries require passports to be valid for at least six months. If you're planning to get a visa on arrival, please check the latest visa policy for that country. For example, if you're entering the U.S. on January 2nd, then your passport should be valid till July 2nd. If you're traveling to the U.S. on a passport issued by India, then you need to have a valid visa from your local U.S. embassy or consulate. Miss Lily informs Mr. Lee about the process at the airport. Arriving at the airport. Miss Lily advises reaching the airport at least two hours before the flight departure time. Check in process. Once at the airport, go to the airline counter to check in. You will give your passport and check baggage to the person behind the airline counter. The person behind the counter will issue a boarding pass and baggage claim tag for the checked baggage. You will get back your passport, boarding pass, and baggage claim tag. Clear immigration and security to head towards the departure gate. Immigration officers at the counter will take your passport to update their system that you are leaving the country. Immigration officers will stamp your passport and return your passport back to you. Go through airport security. Security is done to make sure that no passenger is carrying any prohibited items. Boarding process. Once at the gate, carefully listen to all announcements and instructions made by the airline staff. Once flight boarding is announced, head towards the gate. Gate staff will check your passport and scan the boarding pass. Walk through either the jet bridge or in some cases bus to reach the airplane entry door. Once inside the airplane, look for your assigned seat which is written on the boarding pass. Summary. Review your itinerary for your flight and stopover information. Make sure your visa and passport are valid for at least six months. Reach the airport at your airline counter two hours before check-in. Clear immigration and security to reach your gate and wait for boarding announcements. When called for boarding, go to the gate portion, show your passport and boarding pass, and head towards your plane. Once inside the plane, locate your seat, put your carry-on in the overhead bin or in front of you, and put your seat belt on. Happy international travel! 
Remember to be sure to watch our other presentations in this series for more information.